Welcome to WP Easy Cart. In this video tutorial, we're going to walk through our coupons and promotion systems. Uh, we're going to take a look at how to categorize and group your products together uh, in order to make a good promotion. Uh, we're going to look at how to create a nice page uh, that shows just your promotion items. Uh, that way you can organize them, you can visually show them, and how to customize and use some of our professional and premium version uh, options. The marketing section within EasyCart does require you to have a professional or premium license so you can check those out on our website. Uh, the free edition those features are locked away. So let's take a look at this. We have a, a basic store running. Uh, you can see I have various items on here and what we want to do is create for example a promotion let's call it a winter promotion for coats and you can see as I look through this uh, category of products I've got a couple of coats here and so I'm gonna have these three coats go on sale and offer 25 percent off any of our coats or anything that's in that group so let's take a look at how to do that uh, I'm gonna jump over here to my WordPress admin and the first thing I like to do is I like to use categories. Categories let you just make a collection or a group of products. You don't have to necessarily display them. You can if you want. But it makes it nice for you to do certain features like grab them and make a promotion uh, or apply coupons or whatever to that category. So first thing I'll do is I'll jump over to products and I'm going to go to categories and you can see I have several categories here and they show how many products I have in them. I'm just going to go ahead and create a new one. And I'm going to call it winter sale items. Really doesn't matter. We're not going to visually display the category per se. Um, I'll show you how to. But more importantly it's just that we're grouping the products together. Once we do that, I'm going to click here and I'm going to create uh, products. You can see there's no products in this category, so I'm going to add new. And I'm going to select my coats. Uh, you can see I have one, two, here's another coat down here. And I'm going to add those to this category. Okay, so now winter sale items category has three products. You can see back here how many products are inside of each category. Okay. Uh, the next thing we want to do is let's look at how to visually uh, display this. I like to use pages in WordPress because then I can visually design around my products. So I'm going to jump over to pages and you can see we have just a few basic pages like the store page which has all of our featured products on it. But I'm going to create a new one for just my uh, winter sale items and what I like to do is just put those products on this page and to do that we'll use our short code editor you'll notice when you are on a page you have access to inserting easy cart items and there's a lot of different short codes you can add in here uh, single items you can add uh, different categories and stores and I'll let you experiment with those later but we want to add a product category and it says which category would you like to add to this page so I'm going to click my winter sale items and you can see it just adds the short code okay and what this does is this lets you actually use all of the other features uh, that your typical page would have for example my theme lets me choose no sidebars um, I can put content above and below this so let's publish and take a look at what this looks like so now I just have a page with my winter sale items and so I'm going to view that page and you can see I've got my three items I don't like the way it looks right now so I'm going to go ahead and use my visual editor and I'm going to change this to three columns and I'm going to increase the image heights a little bit so they look better Okay, so I've got my sale items on here. Maybe I'll turn quick view on. And I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now let's jump back to the editor real quick. 
what I meant by being able to customize it is maybe I want to move this short code down and your theme can do different things this theme actually has a few elements that I can apply um, to this page like a special heading uh, I'm gonna give this winter sale items 25 percent off I'm gonna make that a nice big visual heading I'm going to update my page and let's take a look at what it looks like. So now I've got a nice big title. Of course this is an easy card, this just has to do with your theme. I'm just showing how you can get creative with uh, what you could do. You could put big banners up here uh, promoting it. Uh, as another page I could add it to my menu. Uh, that's a great option to do. So I'm going to go to appearances and menus and I'm just gonna select my new winter sale page and add it to my add it to my menu and if I jump back to my store and refresh you'll see I now have winter sale items it's a little bit different than my store it's four columns and has all my products winter sale items has my coats now let's talk about how to create those promotions on these items uh, for example, we see the price of this is $109, $119, I want to give these 25% uh, off. So we'll jump back to Easy Cart. And we're going to open up the marketing section. And you'll notice you have gift cards, coupons, and promotions. Now, coupons, these are what customers enter during checkout and then it will apply the discount to them. Promotions are things that run on your store and everybody gets them. They don't have to enter a coupon. And so I'm going to enter a promotion here. You can see I don't have any promotions. So I'm going to go add new. I'm going to give this a name. Winter Coat Sale All 25% you can give your promotion a start date. I'm going to go ahead and start it today and end it on the 30th. You can limit your promotion per user. Uh, this might be nice to do in case you have somebody who's maybe taking advantage of the system. Uh, I'm going to just say limit it to five. You could do unlimited and leave it empty. Step two says uh, what promotion type is this? Now you can offer a price percentage off a product or a group of products. We could do a price percentage off when a certain dollar value is reached. For example, maybe you want to offer 20% off when a user reaches $100 in their cart. You can also offer a shipping discount. Maybe you would like uh, free shipping. Uh, anything over $50 gets free shipping. Uh, so you could apply this as a promotion here as well. Uh, I'm going to do it off of a certain group of products. Step three, you select your products. Now you can apply this to an individual product. You could select a manufacturer or as we did, a category. And I want to apply it to this winter sale items. And step four is just how much. Uh, do I want to give a dollar off or do I want to give a percentage off? And I'm going to give a 25% discount. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now you can see we have one promotion running here. And it's going to apply to those three products. And so let's take a look at this winter sales page and you'll see the prices. 109, 119. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And you can see now they're marked off. 25%. Okay. Now if we open a product, each product that is a part of that promotion will also get a nice little banner. Uh, it's nice to have something descriptive here and that's why I gave something descriptive in the promotion name. And if you needed to you could always use CSS and you could style this message differently. You could hide it uh, whatnot. So it's pretty configurable once you get it in here. 
the key is that our pricing is marked off and a user doesn't have to enter anything and it simply applies to all the products. Okay. So now let's go ahead and add this to a cart. Let's say I'm going to purchase this item. When we talk about coupons, you'll notice coupons are a coupon code that a user might enter during checkout. Same with gift cards. So let's take a look at those real quick. Uh, coupons, I'm going to click on coupon and I'm going to add a new coupon. And you can see we kind of have a three-step process here as well. Um, you can give uh, a coupon code. I'm going to call this Winter Special 2017. You received free shipping. So if anybody enters this code, they will get free shipping. Okay, max number of redemptions. Uh, I like to always give give it a value. Uh, we're going to talk about expiration date. I'm going to say this ends at the end of the month. Uh, duration. Uh, this applies to subscriptions only, so we're not going to worry about applying a duration to it. Ours is set right here, and it will expire. Uh, I'm going to say this is a shipping discount. Okay, and we can leave it at zero dollars and that's going to just apply free shipping. Um, if you add something, maybe you want to give ten dollars off of shipping, you can apply that. Last step says what do you want to apply it to? Uh, you can apply it to specific products. Essentially it's going to look for any of these in the cart and then it will apply it. Um, so if you apply it to one product, maybe they purchase a certain hat or a certain t-shirt, they get free shipping or uh, you can apply different types up here, percentage, dollar based, whatever you want your coupon. Uh, we have a free item and that just tags your, your coupon uh, to the order so that you can see somebody entered a coupon. What you do with it is entirely up to you. Uh, but we're going to do a shipping one. And I'm going to apply it to my winter sale items. Okay, so winter special 2017 is my new coupon. If we jump over here and I type in uh, just winter, oh, not a valid coupon. Winter special 2017. Hey, you receive free shipping. And so that's how the coupon system works. Um, and the thing about coupons is how you distribute these codes is entirely up to you. Uh, you might post on Facebook uh, a special code just for Facebook users. You might have an email campaign and you can send out a code to all your users. But the key is that this coupon code, whoever enters it, will get to use it. It's not per person. Um, and so, you know, a lot of times you might want to come in here and you know leave your max redemptions you could say okay the first hundred people get it um, you could do that it's not going to apply it to per person it's going to apply it to the entire coupon system okay so coupons are entered at checkout promotions they run consistently across your categories you can create nice pages just for your promotions and really promote them that way plus you can just copy and paste this URL into Facebook or email and have campaigns to market that page which is a good thing to do gift cards if we take a look at gift cards uh, the gift card system is very similar uh, you can just add new what you're going to do with gift cards is you're going to create a 12 digit code You're going to put an amount on it, and this is a $25 gift card. Gift cards are unique um, cash value cards, and so anybody who has that number is going to be able to redeem $25 worth of goods. 
and so treat them just like you would any type of credit card or debit card um, only that person should get that code you don't reuse that code uh, I wouldn't send that code out on Facebook um, it's as good as cash and so you want to protect it as such okay so when you add this or if you sell gift cards and you can produce a gift card in easy card and it will automatically generate these codes for you if you create a twenty five or a fifty dollar gift card they automatically come into gift cards area or you can manually create them like we just did and a user can simply check out if we go to our cart we have a gift card area here we can enter my code and redeem my gift card and you can see I just received twenty five dollars off my value so again these are as good as cash if somebody has a gift card and they only use fifteen dollars out of twenty five dollars uh, the remaining value is still left on there and they can check out and use it at another uh, time of their choosing so we've got some good marketing tools in here gift cards coupons and promotions uh, I really like to use categories to group my promotions together or my my coupon code group um, lets you design pages if you ever want to get to that point and hopefully those tools are worth looking into again available in our professional and the easy cart premium editions and we thanks thank you for watching